Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate Journal American Revolution. This is episode 3 of our current Let's Play. This is the full United States campaign. If you missed episode 1, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner for you guys. Highly suggest uh, checking that one out, especially if you're newer to the game. It's kind of more of a tutorial type uh, episode as opposed to just a straight Let's Play. So if you're struggling in the early parts of this game, um, hopefully that episode will help you guys out. But last episode, we took Harberton and all of the Western ports in New York. Um, we should get a mission completion for Harberton. It's not really a mission per se, but most of these areas here gives you some sort of reward for taking them. And there we go. Harberton is captured. Five reputation and six iron. That's actually really, really big, that six iron this early in the campaign. And then our Sons of Liberty project is done. We did fast track that. We're going to do common defense and then we'll probably go Continental Army next. And then it'll be a toss up of whether we go Committee of Safety or Reorganization. And then getting down to the Fusiliers. Kind of like back and forth on that one. But I want to go for this uh, research speed early and then we'll grab the Continental Army. We'll use our reputation for when it hits 20 days to fast track that that's kind of what we're using all our reputation for at the moment and then we are planning to attack fort stevens and fort lavelle we are moving some troops about um hopefully we can get these troops around good god the royal navy is just decimating all of our merchant ships but not much we can do about that the british uh definitely beating us up on the seas and we, we really don't have anything we can do about it. Our money is a little tight because we did build a bunch of buildings. Um, you can kind of see like in Leicester, we've got a Weaver's House building, Providence, Weaver's House, Middleborough. We've already got a Weaver's House, Carpenter, all of that. Uh, yeah, I guess we're building a bunch of Weaver's Houses is what I was doing. Merchant stalls there. I'd like a merchant stall in New Haven, that's for sure. Um, I like decreasing tension. And ammunition is pretty easy to come by, so I'm fine with that. And then our chief engineer tree. We're actually going to go up to qualified engineers for the 10 research speed. And then we'll probably go US muskets after. I might change my mind, but that's kind of the plan. I'm, I'm kind of going with like going with all this research speed boosts early. Because um, the earlier you grab those, the like the long run, it's much better. Might be better short term to grab certain things, but uh, definitely in the long run, that research speed really, really helps. So what I'll probably do here is um, cut off until we're ready to make a push on Fort LaVille or Fort Stevens, or unless anything else exciting happens. Uh, also note the mini map, there's red dots and blue dots now. Those represent your various regiments on the map. I greatly appreciate that. With just like a uh, UI scaling where I can make, make this mini map much larger especially because i play on a 3440 by 1440 monitor that's why you guys might notice things are like wider and smaller because i play on a larger monitor um so but i, I think on a regular size monitor it would be uh, awesome to have ui scaling so maybe they can get that into the game would would absolutely love that but we'll be back in a moment all right it is june 27 1775 and we are making the push for fort stevens we have two Fusilier regiments and four of our, uh, what, what do you call these guys, militia, but they do have cannons, so that makes things quite a lot better. All right, they did move on out. That always ruins your attack action, and hopefully we can take a very nice battle here where we outnumber the enemy by a lot, and they only have one cannon, so we should be able to absolutely crush this. At least that's the goal. I do have 600 extra men to reinforce any losses. Their plan is to like run over to Fort Stevens and uh, disband. And then we'll have sort of a two-pronged attack. We'll have 720 men from Hubberton hit Fort Lavelle. And probably we'll probably do like one Fusilier and three militia move up to Fort Lavelle too. And that will leave one Fusilier and one Militia to hold Fort Stevens off of a potential counterattack from the British from the Salem and Portsmouth area. So let's dive right on into the Battle of Fort Stevens. 
I'm just trying to get our forces in this tree line, and we have a couple skirmishers that are trying to flirt with us. Hopefully, I'd love if we could... Do you think we could try and charge into them? We have some... No, come on. These guys are exhausted already? They went from... Oh, man. Okay. That's fine. We just need to push them out of these trees. Skirmishers in the trees are absolutely horrific to deal with. And then, where's four? You're going to go there. And group five, you're going to go there. Push Washington up. I would prefer if it was not our, um, our regulars tussling with these skirmishers, but... That's fine. They do have some artillery out in the open, which is absolutely great. And then all of our militia struggling to move forward. Let's see what these guys do. Let's have these guys retreat just a little. They don't really have a place in the line. And then you guys can hit hold. I wonder, can you guys maybe do something like that? That'll work. And then just have you guys sit behind them. You guys sit behind there, Washington, keep doing your thing. We do have artillery moving up, and that artillery can move up to over here, and two can move up over here. And then we're just uh, trying to get our get our militia moving on up, and then the other militia is going to go more or less over here. That is the plan. So just have to deal with these skirmishers, which is a lot easier said than done. Skirmishers are an absolute pain to deal with, and our condition is trash, so we can't really charge them, which is a big, big, big problem. I forgot you could turn that. No, I knew that. I don't know why I forgot you could turn the camera like that with uh, the normal controls. <laughs> Alright, if we can clear through this, then we can hopefully get to their artillery. Um, I would like to not take canister shot from their artillery, but of course their, their militia, you know, is uh, doing a good job on us see if we can continue moving our militia up. Okay, there we go. That's good. See if we can kind of get this going on. We'll move a little bit more like so. And we'll move these guys up like so. Those guys are fully routing. It's like, why are they moving so fast? Oh yeah, because we're on um, extra speed. You guys really have to crisscross like that? Alright, can you guys all push forward and then group 6 and group 8 and group 5 go like so. You guys need to charge and then where's group 2? Group 2 needs to be more like so. Man, Come on, melee into them. I would... They changed, uh, like, charging with with how fast uh, guys lose condition. I don't know... I don't know how I feel about that. But that's okay. Alright, we should be able to get... Oh, man, come on. I just want to melee them. Blinked. Like, I don't need a charge, but I do want to just get into melee with them. Okay, well. That'll work, I guess. Um, let's go there. Those guys are kind of like done done. Oh, George Washington needs to move up. And I screwed up over there. Okay, three. How am I going to do this? So I want, I want this artillery over here. I think that was their only artillery battery. 
which is a big, big no-no on their part. Let's continue moving those guys up. And then we need this artillery to be over here. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Where are you guys? Can you guys um, group up? And then let's have you guys move up. You guys move up. And then we're really, really struggling on our unit formations. I don't want to move up where the enemy can hit us. I guess we could try and take that artillery. That would help out with the attack. I didn't really think about that. But we're going to try and do that. And then these guys will come around from behind. And then these guys will be like so. And then you guys will have you go on hold. Move you guys up over here. Move you. You're probably a large... What are you? Six pound field gun. Okay. And then just keep... Uh, I guess keep moving up is really the name of the game here. And then they'll, they'll position themselves eventually. Grab you guys like so. You guys like so. And just kind of have you as a reserve. You guys will fall back a little. You guys will do that. There we go. I think I think I like how that's turning out. And then we'll move you guys over here. You guys over here. Perfect. I don't know if it's perfect, but it's good enough for government work and we are the United States Continental Army, so technically we're the government, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. That joke went somewhere. It didn't go very well. Okay. Can we... You guys all hit hold. Perfect. Alright, can you guys take their position? Because they're all... They're all getting wrecked. Ooh, they got wrecked over there. And then you guys take up position. No, not not move. Okay. Keep on keep on moving. Ugh, these militia are just falling to pieces. We're going to have to position these guys over here. That's... ooh, that was not how I want that to look. Yeah, okay. Well, how did... what? What hit you guys? What caused you guys to rout? That was weird. It's the AI is getting better about shooting what to shoot. And that's, uh, that's not looking good. Okay, can you guys, I don't know what you guys are doing, but it's not good. Can we move good old Georgie over there? Uh, you guys can group up. Um, I need you guys to come back. Would be, would be great. You guys can group up. Come on, George, keep these guys in the game. Get these, uh... Gallywags out of here. Okay, get get these guys over. Move up a little. Can you guys reman your gun? That would be fantastic. Okay, friendly fire because they surrendered. Can you guys nope, there's no condition left. What? This wall is proving to be a problem. Those guys are 
doing a lot of damage to us. What are you guys shooting at? Okay, perfect. Wish we had condition, because we would charge. We do have a pseudo surround. I told you guys to get back on your gun. Okay, there's another retreat, which is not good. Let's uh, move on up. Can we get you guys to move over there? That is a problem that they are in our flank like that. Alright, can we just move up like so? And then have you move up? You guys need to go on hold orders. Okay, this is actually a little bloodier than I expected. To be honest. Okay, can we get back into the fray? Is there one more unit who is... Okay, we have a unit just completely browning. That's... That's alright. Alright, get back in the fray. You guys are prisoners. Um, somebody else surrendered. Those guys, perfect. That was a really obnoxious wall to deal with. Let's have you guys move up. And then we should, in theory, be able to take these guys out. I wish we had some condition left, because we're we're really struggling with... I would like to break these soldiers, but we basically can't because of... We, we can't charge. Okay, somebody else surrendered, right? No, somebody shattered. Okay, you guys... Yeah, we can't, we have, nobody has condition. Absolutely nobody. And then everybody surrendered except for them. I don't think we're going to get to them, so we'll just, we'll just end that right here. Uh, 805 casualties, that was pretty bad, to be honest. I think, uh, the, the level 1 fort is actually pretty interesting, because you can put a layer of guys in the front of it. I don't know if I can move the monitor, no. But you can put a layer of guys in the front, and then a layer of guys on the palisade, and it's like a two-rank firing system. That actually seems to do a lot of damage. The Having cannons in the level 1 fort doesn't do anything, they're pretty useless, but the British militia also, they sapped away like all of our condition at the beginning, and actually did a decent amount of damage. I wonder if we could see... Um, no, because everybody turns into... An American flag. I, I bet I bet uh, the British militia would have done quite well if we could actually look at them. Uh, 53 over there and then 35. So they did okay. So just move Dane over to Fort Stevens, try to get these guys to completely crush rule and then these guys need to go into Fort Stevens. I don't think we're going to get rule which is Unfortunate, so we're just going to move back to Fort Stevens. And then these guys, as I said, uh, they'll go to Fort Stevens. Come on. Uh, more British troop, uh, troops approaching Boston by sea, so that's interesting. We just need to grab Fort Stevens, and then we'll probably start moving these guys out too. And then there we go. Need all of you to join the garrison. You guys will have to join the garrison, and then we'll do a, a disband of Dane. Oh, and there's too many men over here. So Dane, uh, edit unit, disband, and you'll see that goes straight into the pool here. It's not a one-for-one, one, but it's just a little cheaty way of moving troops without uh, relying on the supply line. It's just, I kind of like that system. We'll wait for this data tick. Um, we are overloading Fort Stevens, but, you know, the, the 537 extra men will take care of that compared to um, everything else. There we go. So, what do we have here? I'm thinking of grabbing... Uh, how do I want to do this? I'm kind of thinking that we only need one Fusilier, and then the three healthy guys over here. Somebody has leveled up, and I wish there was an easier way to see this. There we go. 
I like discipline training a lot. I like willpower. Willpower is kind of my thing. We're going to brigade up and then hopefully these guys can meet us over there. Continue brigading up. Brigade, 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 and then they're going to go on to Fort Lavelle. Hopefully Fort Stevens can hold out, and that's sort of, sort of our plan here, guys, is, you know, divide and conquer. I don't know if we're actually dividing. Technically, we did with Fort Stevens, because Fort Lavelle is not in the supply network. Neither is Fort Stevens in our supply network, but that's, that's also, um, okay, to be honest. And then everybody's going to Fort Lavelle. We should be able to crush that because that should be, yeah, the one beat up company and then a, a fresher one. Probably has a cannon, so probably be a little bit more difficult. Okay, need you guys to move out and then hopefully, can you, can you not do a weird, can you just go the most direct route possible? There we go. Oh, they have, they have cannons left? I guess we didn't make them surrender, but there shouldn't really be anything worthwhile in those cannons left, hopefully. Uh, I hope so. Okay, moving our forces out as fast as we can to this fort. Um, looks like, so they've got a proper artillery regiment there. Not sure about everything else. Um, I will start slowing things down a little bit. I think our men kind of got there a little bit too early, but hopefully... We are kind of out of range. Is sort of the plan. And then we are also trying to blank them. That is another another part of our plan. And then our artillery is going to go over here. And then these guys, I believe, are going right over here. And then our militia are trying to do some crazy blinking maneuver. I have too many selected. They'll do something like that, and then you'll just go all the way around. And there we have it. So definitely, definitely move up our artillery. And then let's have these guys move up too. And we'll see how it goes. See where those guys end up. Probably do something like that. Need you guys to get more in the trees, really, to be honest. Yeah, I know the entire army is exhausted. It's just how it goes when you fight these battles. Okay. You guys on hold. I wonder if we could, you know, do something like that, and then you guys you know, move out like so. We're just kind of going for the full surround here. Some of our troops already pretty battered and bruised. Um, that unit wanted to surrender, but decided against it. I don't know. I don't think that artillery is in a proper spot to shoot us. And you guys. Take them out. Yes. Grab, 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 grab. Uh, they'll probably um, change their mind. Yep. Okay. Well, we got one unit. So let's go there. No. Come on. That's so stupid. Okay. You guys over there. You guys, come on. Move, move, move. I know, I know everybody is tired. It sucks. Okay, we had somebody retreat over there, but in all honesty, that is a-okay. We're going to move our cannons like there, and then have that more like that. That is idiotic. Come on, move up, move up, move up. Oh, and they mass routed. Perfect. Okay. Alright. See, uh, everybody's exhausted, so it's probably just more of uh, if we can create a line around them, then they, they'll they all kind of surrender. Maybe? There we go. 
feel like as soon as they hit our line, it's just kind of like a mass, mass surrender. There we have it, lost 190, so that's a lot better than we were doing before. I think most of that's because they did a mass surrender and they left their artillery in the port. And it's just really hard to fire the artillery out of a level one port. Right, after the battle, just taking Fort Lavelle, they do have a couple men moving this way. Would be great if we could go take them, but they'll probably turn around as soon as we capture Fort Lavelle. There's like, <laughs> you could like let them retake Fort Lavelle. Yes, now they're, they're turning around immediately, which is a interesting mechanic. So some of our guys, uh, looks like we took some decent casualties in those battles, but definitely worth it in the long run, I would say. And now we need to, you know, start thinking about how we're going to defend our line. And I kind of like the idea of maybe maybe taking Portsmouth. I think that would be great and cutting off Salem and Boston and then working on a push towards Salem and Boston. So um, just some reports going on. And then I think our wagon project is done, which is great. Probably going to go over to equipment committee. That seems like the best one over here. It's that plus research speed. I really like that concept. And then on production, so we have two wagons in stock. I would like to start building wagons. And I don't know how many wagons I need to build. So I think if we go... I don't really know how many wagons I need to build. I think we could stop building three pounder galloper guns at the moment and we could probably do something like that. That would probably work. I feel like I we, we have two. I feel like if we build maybe 30. Yeah, I, I never know how many wagons are needed in a in a wagon company so we'll do 30 and then that'll drop off and then i'll go back to galloper guns and civilian muskets i think that is the plan there how's our colony management doing so that's, that's all right and then massachusetts bay we really need to take boston and as i said i need to start figuring out i need somebody to go sit in fort frederick i need somebody to sit in hubbardton and then we'll need people in fort lavelle and then we'll need to go See if we can crush Portsmouth and all of that. So that being said, I need to shuffle around some troops. Probably start uh, adding cannons to some of these groups over here. Maybe get rid of those those regiments uh, or the extra companies there. How many brown vests do we have? Not a lot. Not not gaining many weapons there at all. I would like. I would like to build a, what is it, a merchant stall over here. Oh, granaries are in the game, finally. That's kind of cool. Those have, uh, you know, been in the tech tree forever, and we've never been able to build them, so nice to see those have made their way to the game. Um, probably uh, we could build rum. Everybody likes rum. Is rum what we want to build there? Sure, why not? I mean, they're... It's like the clear answer, right? You know, when in doubt, build rum. But I'll probably work on figuring out what I'm going to do for Fort Frederick. It's going to be a militia over there. Same with Hubbardton. Um, and then we'll. it's probably going to be like us moving some of these militia in and out. Go take a peek at Portsmouth. Um, we absolutely need to get some troops out of Lavelle. So we'll probably go ahead and grab... Like those guys out of Lavelle, take them to Stevens. That's probably too many men, though. Now I think about it. it looks like we, we just have too many men across the board, so we'll, we'll really have to figure this out in a, in a moment. All right, July 3rd of 1775. We're moving two Fusiliers and two kind of battered militia out. We're leaving one Fusilier at Fort Stevens. Uh, I don't know, I guess Fisher might make it to Portsmouth. Hopefully we can kind of cut them off, but it'll probably be not exactly the battle I'm looking for, unfortunately. Uh, I, I was kind of hoping to get there before Fisher would go that way. 
Um, I'll take 159 civilian muskets, though. But we are moving troops out. We're moving Noel and Snow up to Port Frederick and Hubbardton. We are recruiting some more guys down here, but they need more artillery. We're kind of... We, and we started building... Ooh. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if this is a battle I want to take anymore. They're moving forces up to Portsmouth. So that, that was not... Not what I was hoping for there. Uh, two units would have been fine, but now it's sort of a a one to one. So I'm I'm actually going to back off there, mainly because we only have two cannons there. They'll have three cannons, and then they'll have three skirmishers, and we're still sitting on civilian muskets. So we'll just play it safe there, um, and then we will take the three. Oh yeah, we'll take loyalty increase in new york for sure um tensions between usa and england rise i wonder i wonder why that would be um king george has refused to even read it and declared the colonists traitors oh that's the um was it the olive olive branch uh where where the colonials kind of sent like an apology letter basically but bunker hill had already happened by the time King George had read it, so he was like, eh, you know what, I don't like you guys. But seeing as they went and grabbed Portsmouth, I think we'll probably kind of hunker down. We, um, I don't know how our finances are doing. I was building up those merchant stalls. And we probably need a couple more in different locations. Leicester would probably be a good place for another merchant stall. Just get our... Our money up and then I really really do need to start building like mines factories and what do you call it the, the farms the things that make provisions I guess is the best way to word it and I'm going to have to figure out where where I want my troops we're going to need to recruit more troops and our money is absolutely terrible so we are going to sell off the USS Mars and USS Scorpion. I already sold the cannons off of those. We have these 12 pound field guns. We're not going to sell those whatsoever because those will go for our those will go to our infantry later. Um, we should have fur production ramping up. We're building wagons. I'll show you what our production looks like. I'm probably losing a lot of money here because I'm renting three factories but I feel like it's necessary at the moment. But that's kind of where we are at the moment. I think I'll call the episode here. I was hoping to have a battle at Portsmouth and take Portsmouth, but um, the British foiled our plans by putting 2,000 soldiers there. We could bring all of these guys out from Fort Stevens to go attack Portsmouth, maybe move some troops down to Fort Stevens too. That's a good possibility. I need these guys to replenish though, so what I might do is do some like cheeky transferring of troops just so I can replenish better um, that's kind of really important but and you can see where we're completely past the max capacity of Fort Stevens so I will probably grab like all three of these fusiliers or maybe we'll keep the two fuse two fusiliers there and bring like these three down to Leicester and kind of replenish there maybe move up some men and more more of these guys up to Fort Stevens. I don't know. Those are sort of my plan, uh, like thought processes heading into attacking Portsmouth, Salem, and Boston. And maybe Falmouth. It's not a big need. Definitely Portsmouth and South. Uh, I would definitely like to take all of that by winter. And I'm, I'm kind of okay just sitting here for a little while and building up our force, building up our economy and waiting it out against the British. I mean, we we have enough men to go take a huge battle for Boston, but we'll be left really, really bloodied, and I'm not sure that's the best plan either. So, you know, there's 4,500 there. There's about 1,800 there. I don't know how many are in Salem. I guess we could go take a quick peek at Salem, see, uh, see what's in Portsmouth and Salem. That could be good. So there's 700 there, and I'm assuming Portsmouth still has the was it like 18 in george washington not cross the river um cadman is moving back 
out somewhere. So, yeah, about 2,000 there, 700 there, and 4,500 there. And Cadman's coming out to attack George Washington. That's rather weird. I find that the AI likes to do that, where they, like, pressure your general and then push back, which is an interesting tactic. I like it because that's my line of sight, and if I can't get line of sight on them, I don't really know what's going on over there. But that's it. For today's episode so please like comment subscribe all of that youtube jazz greatly helps out the channel love reading you guys comments you guys are awesome uh we're on you know our, our next objective i guess is 2000 subscribers we hit 1000 in about seven months uh 2000 would be absolutely great in the future and then you know every milestone after that you know hit 5000 10000 i don't know probably probably not possible who knows i guess i need to get more content out for that to happen but just want to say I appreciate all of you, and as always, guys, until next time.